welcome back friends so this is the last video of this series and in this video we are going to uh, just fix the bugs so first of all what we are going to do here so we have to add the detail uh, means add the alert here so for that uh, we are going to use directosify so first of all let's install this directosify so i'm going here in the coding section and here just we have to type yarn add react toastify so this will install the toastify for us uh, so actually spellings are wrong yarn add react Toastify. So here, uh, wherever we have the alert, so we have to change to that Toastify here. So now let's go here. So let's search here for the alert. And now you can see that we have so many alerts here. So first of all, let's go to the login form.jsx. So uh, here, first of all, we have to enable this React Toastify. Uh, so for that we have to go to the app.jsx so let's go there and here we have to import the react toastify first so import uh, toastify model so we have to import the model first from react toastify so like you can see here so first of all, uh, we have to import the CSS and we have to import the toast container. So let's do that. So we have the toasting container and I have imported the CSS as well. We don't need toast for now. And here just copy the toast container and we will apply the toast container here. Just save this. So now we have the toast container as well. So now just I'm closing the terminal. So here now let's go here and let's go uh, to one by one file and here we will be adding. First of all, we have to import the toast import toast from react toastify and here instead of alert we are going to use toast.info or we can say that toast. here will be the error just save this so now one more alert is there so for the registration form there is alert so here we are going to use the same thing toast.error and first of all we have to import the toast as well import toast from react toastify so I'm going to copy this copy this just save this and let's do for all the things uh, for all the files you have to do so I will be back after doing for all the files so here I have replaced everything correctly here and you can see that we have toast your success here as well so now uh, let's close all this and now let's test it if it is working or not so I'm going here let's go here and we don't need react toastify anymore let's go to the dashboard and here I will upload any file so just choose any file here like I'm going to choose any file like this one flag dot uh, flag of India and just click on upload file now after uploading the file so here it will show the toast message so you can see that we have the toast message file uploaded successfully and we have this image SVG image so now this one is working successfully now there is one issue so when I am double clicking here and I will refresh here so I will refresh here you can see that uh, we have nothing here so we have nothing here 
so here what we can do here so here we can check if the user is first of all logged in or not so if the user is not logged in so then we will move for move back here so you can see that here the user is not logged in so here we will use the same condition here so let's go to the source folder then go to the comp uh, pages and dashboard page uh, not dashboard page so let's go to the components dashboard components and here we will go to the file uh, file component in the file component so here we will check if user is authenticated or not so is authenticated is authenticated so that we will check is authenticated so state dot auth dot is authenticated so just save this so here we will check if the user is authenticated in the use effect so use effect so here we will mention this one from the starting so here we will check if is authenticated uh, so here we will check if not authenticated then we are going to redirect this one so navigate navigate to login to slash login so I think this one is the uh, let me check again login yeah navigate to the login so in the index.jsx so there should be navigate to login so let's check the dashboard first of all so let's go to the pages and under the dashboard page we have the dashboard here and here you can see that uh, navigate to this one so if it's not logged in so here is authenticator that's great so here we will move to the starting page just save this and now let's see if it is working so when I'm reloading this so user is still not getting back so let's see where is the error here let's go to the console uh, console yeah, where is the console yeah console is this one so error is uh, data so data is not defined so first of all this one is the error at 35 uh, so at 35 there is the error uh, so this one is the error so here just I'm going to use this one like this so like this I'm going to use just save this now let's try it again just reload this now it should navigate us to the home page uh, so we still have the error so that is data is not undefined at 55 so we have error at 55 so let's go to the 55 yeah this one is the error so let's see if there is a current file current file dot data dot so we have to replace this everywhere just close this so here we have to replace this to this one question mark question mark just save this so we have these type of errors uh, so we still have error like split is not defined so where is the split so 
so the error is in the code editor yeah so here what we will do uh, so here uh, we have this file data here so first of all uh, we have to check here if file data is not equals to null then only we are handling this otherwise we have the error here yeah here we have to check if is authenticated if is authenticated so first of all we have to check this if the user is authenticated and like this only then we are going to uh, return this so if is authenticated then only we are going to return else if this is not authenticated so if this is not authenticated then what we are going to do so just we are going to return a div login first just save this now you can see that when uh, I'm going back so let's go back there so our page is flashing let's go back to the dashboard and here let's go to the page any page and just refresh this now you can see that we are going back to the home page so this means that this is working successfully so for today this is enough uh, if I, if you have any queries then please comment in one section i will definitely respond to that alas thanks for watching i will see you in the next video